Hi boys and girls. Tonight we're going to talk about associative property. Last night we did commutative. So associative property is when both sides of the equal sign have to equal each other. You notice here on the first one, no, I'm going to do that. Stop. Hi boys and girls. Tonight we're going to talk about the associative property. Last night we talked about the commutative property. And so tonight you look at these examples in that you notice that there are three numbers on the left side of the equal sign and three numbers on the right side of the equal sign. Associative property means that you can add or multiply and it doesn't matter how the numbers are grouped. So commutative property is how the numbers are in a different order and you can solve it that way. But with associative property, sorry, you look at number one, that's done for you. Three plus five, in parentheses, plus two equals three plus, in parentheses, five plus two. So basically what they say here is, it doesn't matter if you add the three plus five first, then add two, or if you add the five plus two first, then add three. So they have the same numbers on both sides of the equal sign. All you have to do is see which number is missing from the equation. So if you go down to number two, four times, in parentheses, eight times the unknown equals in parentheses, four times eight times six. So either I can do four times eight and then multiply by six, or when you come over here, they've taken the four out of the parentheses and put it by itself. They have left the eight in the parentheses, so there's only one number that it could be. The four, eight, and six are here, the 4, 8, and which number is missing. And if you said 6, you were absolutely right. So the 6 goes here, and I'm sorry that doesn't look any better for a 6. So let's look at the next one. This is associative property of addition. They are saying on the right-hand side, they're going to add 12 plus 10 first, then add the 7. But on this side, they're thinking about adding the 10 plus what, then adding the 12. Well, the 12 is on both sides, the 10 is on both sides, the 7 is on the right side, but it's missing here. So you know that the number 7 goes into, woo, look at that. <laughs> the number 7 goes into that spot there. So let me take a minute and erase that. Okay. So hopefully you understand associative property. There are three numbers on each side. C, it doesn't matter which one you do, do first. The order doesn't matter. And make sure that you are using the exact same three numbers on both sides. So please complete this paper and bring it in tomorrow. Thank you.